Guys, sweating, sweat my took us off here. Hey, Johnny Nerd out here. I got another custom e-bike build for you. I want to go over what bike this is, what we did to it, why this makes a really awesome e-bike. This wasn't an e-bike before, but now it is. If you're new to the channel, I'm Johnny Nerd out. I make e-bikes, turn regular bikes into e-bikes. Higher powered, less costing, more having. So this is a Thursday Total Eclipse. Thursday is a cool brand. It's a small bike brand. It's, a, and it's made in America, as far as I know. Um, currently, they're located in Portland, Oregon. So yeah, when people are saying like, oh, everything is made overseas and you can't get any e-bikes that are made in America or blah, 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 blah. No, this, is, this bike is proof. This is an American made, literally American made bike. Doesn't get any more American than Portland, Oregon. <laughs> uh, but this is, a, this is a cool bike. If you wanna have something that stands out, get a Thursday bike. This is cool, it's got Rock Shocks front suspension, so it's a really smooth bike. It's got 29, 29er tires, or 29 by 2.1. So this thing is, it's a really good commuter bike. You could take this, you could take this off-road if you want. I wouldn't take it off of like hardcore downhill mountain biking, but you could do some single track on this. And you could use this as your commuter too. Put some, put a bag on the a rack on the back. It doesn't have brazons for a rear rack, so you'd have to get like a universal clamp-on rear rack. Yeah, it, this is a cool bike. Uh, it uses SRAM X9 shifters. It's got mechanical disc brakes, high-end components across. Um, so let's get into what I did to it. Put a BBS HD motor on it. That's a thousand watt mid-drive. Puts one, uh, about 1700 watts peak at 30 amps. It's a 48 volt battery, 11.6 um, amp hour. Has a 30 amp BMS, so this will match whatever the motor needs to pull from it. It's got a stock chain ring, 46 tooth. We went with the 860C display, color display. So it's a little bit premium display. It has a USB out. So if you're looking for a uh, display that has a USB out so that you could plug into and you know charge your lights, charge your phone, something like that, get an 850C, 860C, which is like the DPC-14 or DPC-18. It's got the little controller here that controls everything you see in the display. Next to it is a throttle. A lot of people are like, you can't have a throttle on it. I don't know where, I, where people get that from. Pre-made bikes, yeah, sure, but they suck anyways. So, that's why another reason to buy, build your own, have a throttle on it. We went with rechargeable headlights on this one. Um, these are the Raveman 1000 lumens. So this one, it's bright. It's like a motorcycle light um, and it is adjustable. It doesn't have to be at a thousand lumen. It could be, I think it's like 600 lumen, 300 lumen. So you could dial it down. If you're going through a crowd, you don't want it on super bright. And you know, super brightest is only like four hour lifespan or something, but if you bring it down, you're commuting at night a lot, put it on the lower settings and it'll be fine and it'll last you like 20 hours. Yeah, this is just a really cool bike. I love it when people find these not super off the shelf bikes. I love it. And support American made stuff. All right, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test on this where we test top speed, hill climbing from a standstill, hill climbing from a rolling start and it's all done under just motor power. So I don't add any human power to it. It's just seeing what the motor can do. So if you add your own legs to this, obviously performance is gonna be a little bit better on all these scenarios. Let's go. Whew. All right, so you can see top speed, 34 miles an hour. It's pretty good. If you had a 52 volt battery, it'd be a little bit faster, but honestly, 34 miles an hour on a bicycle is fast. Once you hit over 30 miles an hour, you feel like you're going 60. Hill climbing was, was fine. It didn't like scream up the hill, obviously, but I think it's because this, uh, the low gear on this and the, this chain ring being 46 is pretty tall. And the low gear here, I think is like 30, maybe 28 maybe 32 and somewhere around there. So you get this closer to a one to one ratio and this thing is just gonna hill climb like crazy. Cool bike, high components on this one, got Cane Creek, Fox, uh, Rock Shocks, 
SRAM, good bike. Good bikes make great e-bikes. Hoppa, let that be the lesson of today. All right, thanks guys.